So today, Fight Fuel MMA answers the eternal question, does size matter? Octagon size, that is. Oh! So UFC 259 is going down Saturday, March 6th, and it's a huge card. It's going down at the apex in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, why is this important? Huge card, huge title fights. You've got three title fights on the card. Yeah. Headlining, you've got Israel Adesanya versus Jan Blahovitz for the light heavyweight strap. Co-headlining, you've got Amanda Nunez versus Megan Anderson for the women's featherweight title. And in the middle of the card, you've got Piotr Jan versus Aljamain Sterling for the bantamweight strap. Let's go, Aljo. Big fights, big pay-per-view, small octagon. This is what we're going to be talking about today. Does the UFC's use of two octagon sizes make a difference to the fights and to the fighters? Yeah, so as you know, the apex octagon size is 25 feet in diameter. When um, you compare it to the other venue that we've been seeing lately uh, due to the pandemic, the 30-foot octagon on Fight Island. Yeah, so you've got a difference of about 250 square feet between the two cages. One is 30 foot in diameter, one is 25 foot in diameter. Now, does this make a difference? If you've been watching this sport, you've probably gotten used to the larger octagon, yeah. the 30 foot octagon. You've seen it for all the big events, all the big fights. A few years back, they started using the smaller octagon, the 25 foot octagon, at some of the smaller events in some of the smaller venues. And if you pay attention, yes, there is a huge difference between when they use the smaller versus larger octagon. Like Joy was saying before, because of the pandemic, this, this card had to be booked at the Apex. And the Apex uses the 25 foot octagon. But, yeah. does it have to be using it? The UFC has got money. The Apex is big enough to hold a 30 foot octagon. Why are they staying with the smaller cage? Yeah, especially for this card. Yeah, so for me, my thought is that the smaller octagon is barbaric, especially at the higher weight classes. You put two fighters in there and they don't have room to maneuver. These guys are hemmed up in there. You might as well strap their wrists together with a strip of leather and tell them to just start swinging until one of them's unconscious. It's not the optimal fighting environment. Yeah, not for light heavyweights and especially not for Israel Adesanya's debut at light heavyweight because Israel Adesanya's game really plays to having more space to evade his opponent and go in for the counter and go in for the for the for the kill. Absolutely. Now, I think that Dana White loves the small octagon. I think what he wants are finishes, exciting fights, so the just bleed crowd can sit there and go, "This is amazing. These guys are trying to kill each other." Yeah. And it's not just a visual thing. We looked into the statistics, and there is a marked difference between results in the smaller versus larger octagons. Uh, about 10 to 12 percent more finishes happen pretty much across all weight classes when using the 25 foot octagon versus the 30 foot. Yeah, so I mean, it just basically goes along with what you would think or what you would expect without even looking at the numbers. Like, it makes sense that more finishes happen because there's less movement going on yeah it's it's more of a static environment now i understand they're both artificial environments you don't have octagons sitting around everywhere but i don't like the idea of trying to force the fighters into close proximity all the time i think all the fighters go in there looking to fight their game looking to finish looking to win I don't think you have to artificially encourage them to engage. No. And also, if you think about mixed martial arts as a sport, where it is today, it's at the forefront of sports right now, right? And to think that you want to marginalize their space when giving them more space helps to create, I know maybe not more finishes, but it creates more to the game there are more options in more space. Now, Joy was saying something really interesting earlier about gymnastics. Yeah, I mean, the first thing that I thought of is 
what I grew up doing. I was a gymnast growing up. And I just think of like them changing the octagon size for each fight card to be very similar to as if they were to change the beam size on us. Like the beam is one size. It's always one size and it doesn't change because if that were to happen, that would change everything for the, for the gymnast. Now think about it with football. Would you change the size of the football arena? Uh, football field? field? Yes. The I field. watch sports. <laughs> would you change the size of the football field in the NFL? Then why would you change the octagon size in the UFC? If it was a matter of necessity, like the venue could not hold a 30-footer, then I say you do what you got to do. But it's not a matter of necessity. It's a matter of the UFC trying to market their sport as exciting as possible. It's exciting enough even when these guys have room to work. You don't have to force them to clash. They're going to anyway. Yeah, and I feel like they're kind of doing this in the maybe unintentional, but it's a little sneaky how they're kind of just sneaking this huge card into the apex and not saying that they're blaming the pen, but during the pen, they built Fight Island. And what did they build on Fight Island? They built a 30 foot octagon on Fight Island. This is the most cutting edge, the newest arena. And they used a 30 foot octagon. So I feel like them kind of making this card happen at the apex is kind of like a way for them to really encourage finishes between all of these fights. Yeah, it's obvious that the optimal octagon size is 30 feet. If you're using the 25 foot, it's not for the benefit of the fighters, it's for the benefit of your bottom line in a manner that I think will lead to more injury, more head trauma, more damage. I know it's the hurt business, but give these guys a chance to move. Yeah, and I'm very confused as to why they decided to put the headliner at the apex. For someone like Israel Adesanya, this is definitely at the detriment to his game. And that is kind of a head scratcher for me that why the UFC would put such a challenge for Israel Adesanya when he's one of their stars. They really want to pump him up. They gave him this title shot at light heavyweight upon request because he feels he's cleared out the middleweight division. That's a topic that we'll talk about another day though. But um, if they want to make him a star, wouldn't they give him all the tools needed in order to fight his extremely, extremely tough opponent in Jan Blachowicz? That's a really good point. I think the fight that's going to be affected most by the smaller octagon size is the headliner, Izzy vs. Jan. Yeah, for Because sure. Izzy is going to want to use movement. Izzy is going to yeah. want to keep throw from the outside. He doesn't want to get into the clinch or go to the ground with Jan. No. Jan that's will where, tear him apart. That's where Jan is his strongest, in those clinches, in those, you know, in that striking range that Israel Adesanya does not want to be there for. He wants to be on the outside. Jan wants to get in either to land the Polish power or to wear on him, put that weight on him and drag Izzy down to the mat where I know he's a purple belt now, but you know what? Blachowicz is a black belt. If he takes you down, He's going to put you out. So it is a bit of a head scratcher. Yeah. I mean, or they have that much faith in Israel Adesanya and they have zero faith in Jan Blachowicz, well, which is crazy to me. Obviously, Adesanya is more marketable than Jan. And I think it's also a bit of just this is where they can put on the fights. I mean, I guess they could go to Florida, but they've got the thing going with the Apex. The production is set. They know yeah. what they're doing. And we understand that, but... They built that beautiful arena in Abu Dhabi during this pandemic. So why couldn't they add an extra five feet around the octagon at the apex? Yeah, you for could the, switch it out. For the light heavyweights. You just don't want to. You want exciting fights in a smaller cage. Um, That's what it seems like. Yeah. Allegedly, of course. Make decisions. They want to have exciting fights, but at the end of the day, it's because they want their bottom line to go up. Yeah. They equate... More finishes with more pay-per-view sales, with more excitement, more interest in the sport. Maybe they're right, but it almost seems like a bit of a disrespect to your fighters, to me, especially at the heavier weight classes, to make them fight in the smaller cage if they don't have to. 
Yeah, and to me, I think of Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender series as his little experiment, as his little, um, how do you say, ant farm, where he wanted to create an atmosphere for finishes. So in his mind, he's like smaller octagon. So he decided on that 25 foot octagon for um, all of the fights that take place on the Tuesday Night Contender Series. And I think he kind of used that as like a barometer to see like, wow, there are, I was right, more finishes, more exciting fights. And I feel like he's starting to apply that to his pay-per-views. Yeah, they're looking at the numbers. We looked at the numbers too, it's true. There's about 10 to 12% more finishes when using the smaller octagon versus larger octagon, pretty much across all weight classes. So they're not wrong. What they want to do is working. But I think if they just came out and said, what's going on? They said, yeah, we realize there's less space. It's tougher for these guys to work. So they got to engage more. Uh, we like it that way. I think you'd get a lot of fighters being like, yo, come on. That's, give me the room to work. Yeah, especially someone like Israel Adesanya. Mm-hmm. Or any heavyweight. So... Yeah, there you go. Well, fortunately, the other two title fights on this card are not among light heavyweights. Or heavyweights, you got Megan Anderson versus Amanda Nunez going down. Yeah, and I don't really see the cage size really affecting Amanda Nunez at all. Uh, I think this would be more in her favor, um, more to a disservice to Megan Anderson, but I don't think it's going to be that significant to make or break the fight. The other title fight going down, Aljamain Sterling versus Piotr Jan. I actually think Sterling might have an advantage with the smaller cage because I think he wants to take this fight to the ground. Yeah, and I think we all want to see him take the fight to the ground. His jiu-jitsu is just so exciting to see during the fights because he is so quick at getting those positions. He'll go for unorthodox style submissions that you don't see every day. So definitely I'm down for them fighting in the smaller octagon. So I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. But still, I don't like the fact that it's two different sizes. So pick one or the other. But pick the bigger one because it's better for the fighters. Yes, just, just make it standard. You always have the room. 30 foot octagon, stop fucking around. I guarantee you they're going to try to reduce the size of the octagon to 25 feet within the next 5 to 10 years. They're going to try to make that standard. It's not the right move. One more point of interest about this card. We have got uh, Philadelphia's own Sean Brady fighting on this card. He's fighting Jake Matthews, the Celtic kid, and we're really hyped on Brady. Yes, and we got a comment. Shout out. We're going to list it right here. Best comment winner, right there. Thank you for your comment. And to get your comment featured in our next video, leave a comment down below and let us know what you think of the octagon size. Do you like the bigger size? Do you like the smaller size? Are you cool with them just using them interchangeably? Or do you want some rules and regulations? Or do you want to just bleed? Just bleed! Guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw. It helps us out a lot. Yeah, definitely. Like we said before, we want to know what you guys think. Are we crazy? Is it just us that this is weird that nope. UFC 259 is going down at the smaller octagon? Is it weird or is it not weird? I don't know. It's weird and it makes a difference. Size does matter. Fight Fuel MMA signing out till next time, guys. Peace. Thank you.